Hello guys, this is Anthony coming to you live with another DIY one for all video and in today's video we're going to talk about how not to connect an engine kill switch on a mower. And the reason why I'm sharing this video again is because I recently did a, I did a video where I attempted to draw an engine and a kill switch. Well, as you know, I am not the best artist, so what I did, I've redone the images. Not myself, but I got some images off the internet to better illustrate what I was trying to share in the previous video. Well, as you know, I recently bought a snapper mower off Craigslist that had a kill switch that didn't work. It didn't work because it was actually wired like this. Both of the wires were actually going to the killer wire on the engine. These two terminals here, both were actually going to the killer wire on the engine. So the switch didn't actually turn the engine off. If the engine um, was running, didn't turn it off, and pretty much it was just a useless switch. The previous owner told me that the switch wasn't really necessary and that it didn't actually work. And um, my question was, well, where's the ground connection? There wasn't any connection going to ground. As you know, in order for a kill switch to work, you will actually have to ground out the spark plug or the ignition coil. So you have to have one connection going to ground and one connection going to the ignition coil. Not both connections going to the ignition coil. So this is a correct way that a kill switch should be wired. There has to be a connection going to ground and one connect connection going to the ignition coil. Now, it doesn't really matter which connection you choose. Um, I'm sure you can always turn this little lid around to the off position or the on position. But the important thing to note is that one connection has to go to ground and one connection has to go to the ignition coil in order for the switch to work. So guys, I just wanted to share this video with you again, just in case you have an issue with a kill switch not working on a mower, or you may have tried to um, wire your own mower or install a kill switch, or you want to install a kill switch on your mower, well, this is how you do it. And again, this is Anthony coming to you live once more with another DIY one for our video. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe as well. And feel free to share this video as well and tell your friends about this video. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching, guys, and you have a great day. Bye now.